Good morning, everyone. It is Owen and Nancy here to talk to you about what to bring or what I brought on my last camping trip. Just got back last night and I thought I would go through quickly everything I brought and what I used and what I didn't use at all. So let's get started. Here's my cooler. Um, it's a good, uh, it was Coleman, <laughs> that's the cat, did not bring the kitty. Um, a Coleman cooler, steel belted, it works really well. I always start out the trip with two gallon jugs of water that I've frozen at home. And then I put those in the cooler and those usually last me four days very well in uh, even in the Teton heat. So that's a good investment. It was about $200 a few years ago. So that's the cooler. Here's a layout of my coffee stuff, my dishes and cookware, and then the food um, that I brought home. I can tell you a little bit about the other things I ate and then some things that I didn't use at all. All of this stuff. So a very quick overview. I have two stoves. This is what you call a stove. Um, the canister of fuel goes down here and then of course things set upright like that on, on a stable surface. The other stove is this jet boil. Boils water very quickly and again the container of fuel attaches right here. Whoa, that's um, leftover coffee dripping out of my French press. I do bring my French press because I really like a good cup of coffee when it's first thing in the morning, it's cold in the Tetons, I make fresh coffee, I bring half and half and put it in this thermos and bring it down to the lake. Oh, nothing better than that. So coffee wise, store it in plastic bags so that as I use up the coffee, that just, it doesn't take up space anymore. So there's not a container. And I wish I would have done that with more items. Brought cocoa, used that a little bit, I had tea every night. So that was worth the effort of bringing. I have two saucepans. I think I'm gonna get one that's better in terms of non-stick. I thought this one would be non-stick and it just, it really wasn't. And this one's stainless steel and that of course is not non-stick either. I really limit the cooking utensils that I bring. Two knives, one spatula, couple spoons, a measuring cup. I think that's a half cup so that it can be used for a bunch of different things. Can opener and just a few utensils to eat with. Here's my wash tub that also doubles as my storage tub. Small cutting board, one tea towel and one hot pad was all I needed. And yes, I brought more than that. Oh, and my coffee cup that I used is this steel, um, stainless steel cup. It's double walled, so it never gets hot when you fill it. You cannot though put it on a uh, flame because the air between the two surfaces will expand and could explode. So it's a great camping cup, but you cannot cook with it. So then in terms of food, I actually brought a loaf of bread. I ate peanut butter sandwiches. Um, I used granola, ate granola and yogurt till that ran out. I wish I would have brought a whole container of yogurt. I didn't. Um, brought some extra coffee. I made oatmeal a few different times. I made pancakes once, so I could have brought less of the Bisquick type stuff. I always add a little bit of cornmeal, I love that. Brought maple syrup, or brown sugar. Could have brought less. And that, I guess, would be an overall um, tip for me and for you, just bring less. So um, less maple syrup, less olive oil, less walnuts, less peanut butter, less 
less, less, <laughs> less, less fruits and vegetables, less eggs. So funny. I brought six eggs. I used three. I broke two and I brought one home. So three eggs would have been more than enough. And I've been making jams this summer. So yeah, I thought I should bring three containers of jam for 10 days camping. Hmm, didn't need them. Didn't need vanilla. Didn't need a whipped cream maker to use the vanilla. Didn't use Parmesan. Brought a can of soup home. Didn't use my espresso maker. Or two more tea towels. Or a second spatula. I used this glass jar just to bring water out with, but then I had glass in the camper and I wish I would have just left it. And then I also brought the dog food in um, plastic containers and I thought I would be able to recycle those in the Tetons, but they don't recycle that kind of plastic out there. So then I end up bringing them home to recycle. Well, lastly, I used this basket to store some of my food stuff under the seats. And I really liked the idea because I can see through it. I could see what was in here. You know, I had all sorts of things stored like that in it. But it would get caught on the carpet as I would slide it in and out and these handles got stuck on things. So I like the concept, just not that basket. Um, oh, I also brought a loaf of Bredico bread. I brought some milks, milk things like 1%, um, half and half, the yogurt, and oh, of course, me being me, I brought heavy whipping cream. And then I also brought um, a can of Hy-Vee vegetarian chili. I could have used one more can. I really like that. It's a good, good chili. And, uh, you know, some of the camping supplies at some of the stores out in national parks are really quite expensive. So you want to find that balance of bringing everything you need, but not overpacking. So I think that would be it. I had a great time. River and I had some wonderful hikes. We had a great time cooking at the campsite. He loved his pancakes. He got his fried egg. Um, he loved the oatmeal. It was just a wonderful time. So I hope you sometime go out camping. Have the fun of having cocoa you know, first thing in the morning and bringing it down to the lake and hearing the birds start to wake up and seeing the alpine glow come onto the mountains or the lake, the trees. It's just the best. And the less you can bring, hear that, Nancy, the less you can bring, the better. It just makes it better. Go simple and enjoy. All my best. Have a wonderful day and peace to you.